when people are expecting a peace process, they're expecting somehow Israel to do more than they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are they expecting the Palestinians to do? <clears throat> It, it's a good question. I think sometimes the peace process is much of an illusion. And uh, I think there's somebody named Itzamal Marcus from Palestinian Media Watch has really chronicled what the Palestinian uh, Authority official media has said for years. And the way they describe it, they describe it one way in English and another way in Arabic. And uh, what they don't want to be heard in Arabic by many people in the West is what the real nature of the conflict is. And I really believe the, the real nature, it's a religious battle uh, is the way they perceive it and so it's not just a territorial uh, conflict where, where compromise of land will bring about some sort of negotiated resolution but a, a religious conflict that's uh, fueled by you know Islamic doctrine and theology that says that land that once was under the sway of Islam must by nature be reconquered by Islam uh, in in the case of Israel it's sort of a double uh, <clears throat> emphasis that they not only have to take back land that was one under Islamic control, but now they have to take back land that's now under Jewish control. That makes it even a sort of a double insult for Why Islam. is uh, Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel, which was their biblical holy land, right. why is that uh, an anathema to Muslims? Well, like I said, because uh, first of all, anything that uh, is part of an Islamic waqf, the word they use for uh, land under Islamic control, has to be taken back. It's a religious duty and obligation of Muslims to take this land back. And also, uh, you know, Jews in particular are, are cited that uh, there's a verse, I believe, in the Hadith that says, uh, at the end of time, there will be a time when the trees and the rocks will cry out, oh, Muslim, there's a Jew behind me, come and kill him. And this kind of... Uh, uh, theology that is driving much of the hatred for Jews in, uh, uh, throughout the Islamic world and in the Middle East. There are many uh, liberals or moderates, political moderates, who are very well-meaning, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, who believe that uh, all people can be assu assuaged right. by, uh, by a greater economic opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see that as a, a, a solution to uh, making uh, the Islamic State of Palestine somehow uh, n stop their irredentist uh, goals to reconquer Jerusalem? I, I don't think the economy or economic uh, benefits or incentives will, will assuage uh, people in the Palestinian Authority to stop what they their agenda. Um, it may help uh, a lot of Palestinians and, and it should be said that many Palestinians or some for sure are, are not uh, motivated by this kind of Islamic ideology or theology. They'd love to have uh, support and, and benefit for their families, food on the table and, and jobs to go to. But I think that um, overall I think what, what animates the Palestinian Authority and many many Muslims is this is this drive to um, you know eradicate the Jewish state and so econ economic benefits uh, don't I don't think would uh, would be enough to, to stop that that kind of drive. Now most people who contend this are uh, either Americans but seldom uh, deal directly with the Palestinians themselves. Uh -huh. How about you? You mean, I mean, sort of the diplomats that go over, or the... Well, I, I mean, in terms of, uh, how did you come to this uh, understanding? Mm. Well, I think I've been there uh, over 12 years now, and seen the quote-unquote peace process sort of churn along, and it's almost, uh, there was a time, I think, <clears throat> uh, when I was in Jordan, and I think there was a summit between uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, between President Bush and uh, Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon and there was one uh, Israeli official there who said it seemed like deja vu all over again. They had seen the same sort of uh, summits, the sort of press conferences, the press briefings that, uh, that, that didn't seem to go anywhere. Um, I think now that Secretary of State John Kerry is coming over and seems to be maybe his number one agenda in diplomacy is to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, over time, I've seen that wanting to be done by Condoleezza Rice, by President Bush, by Clinton. President Obama, and President Clinton before him. It's taken 
uh, years, decades, for this so-called Israeli-Palestinian conflict to, to be resolved diplomatically. I feel like it's a diplomatic wall that's too hard and too high to scale with the kind of ideas they have. They want to have confidence building measures, they want to build momentum, these, these uh, phrases they use that they don't seem to, to work. And, and as I said, I think the thing that's underlying this is an Islamic ideology that, that either won't allow uh, <coughs> the Palestinian Authority and Fatah to accept any sort of peace agreement. And, uh, uh, and certainly Israel, I think, is willing to do a lot for peace, but I don't think they, uh, they, they can give enough to, uh, to satisfy the demands of the Palestinian Authority. And do you suppose that the Palestinian goal is just the, st the state uh, under the borders which are negotiated un under a, a current uh, 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 treaty, or do, do they have a, a greater long-term I think they have greater long-term goals. I think it was just a few weeks ago, I think one of the chief clerics of the Palestinian Authority talked about the liberation of Jerusalem, and they talked about establishment of a caliphate. A caliphate meaning this uh, Islamic uh, rulership that had one dominated, once dominated the Middle East, and now there's a, there's a drive in many Muslims throughout the Middle East that this would be resurrection, resurrected. Yeah, and but the caliphate is uh, caliphate as as it's written. Mm -hmm. um, is this just to rule the uh, Middle East? Oh no, it's the the goal of the caliphate is eventually to be a global caliphate, and this is drives much of the theology of Muslims today. The Western it, world. Yeah, the Western world as well. They they want to take over the Western world, whether it's uh, through whether whatever means they use might might differ. It might through, be through, I think they call it dawah, proselytization uh, <clears throat> by Islam, or it could be by violent means. And uh, I mean, there's a disagreement perhaps within Islamic groups, the means, but I think the goal remains the same, is to have a worldwide caliphate.